Democrats thought they found a smoking gun on Russian collusion when Michael Cohen testified that President Trump knew about WikiLeaks' plan to dump Hillary Clinton's emails before it actually happened. The only problem was so did everyone else. You said, and this is also in your testimony, in the days before the Democratic Convention, you became privy to a conversation that some of Hillary Clinton's emails would be leaked. Is that correct? Correct. You said late July. Do you know the exact day? I believe it was either the 18th or the 19th, and I would but guess that it would be on the 19th. Definitely July. I believe so, yes. Do you know that was public knowledge in June? Oh, snap! With me now, Kentucky Republican Congressman and House Oversight Committee member Thomas Massey. Just waving the facts at him. That was, that was actually a, a very entertaining moment because he, uh, he had his dates all backward if he was trying to harm the president with that WikiLeaks nugget. Six, six weeks earlier, everybody already knew about that. Julian Assange said it on TV in Great Britain. It was widely reported. So I didn't accuse uh, Michael Cohen of fake news. I accused him of old news. And that was typical of his testimony today. The part of it that could be believed was already known to pretty much everybody. So, you know, the Democrats and Elijah Cummings at the helm were hoping to lay a cornerstone for impeachment or maybe some criminal charges against the president. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, laid a very crumbly brick as their uh, cornerstone. In fact, I think it's crumbled in front of their eyes today. And so it's not a very good foundation for them to build on. Yeah, if, if, if they're trying to uh, pin impeachment hopes on this day, I, I think that, you know, they, they might have gotten their, gotten their hopes up a little too soon. But I, I thought you had some good questions for Michael Cohen, because anyone who hires a lawyer, it's, uh, it's to make sure that, you know, oftentimes a lawyer keeps you out of legal jeopardy. And you, right. you asked Michael Cohen if he was a good lawyer, because if he were a good lawyer, he would have been able to advise the president not to do certain things, especially if he had political aspirations. But he, uh, he, he didn't do very well when you questioned him about that, did he? No, and key to that was his testimony, his own testimony this morning, which we didn't receive until like midnight last night. He said that when he was making payments to Miss Clifford, he didn't even consider whether it was improper or whether it was the right thing to do or not. He just did it. So I asked him if he himself didn't consider whether it was legal or not, how could he advise his client on whether it was legal or not? And he seemed to be stumped there, and the lawyers behind him seemed to be stumped. You can't give your, your client good legal advice if you don't even yourself care what the legal ramifications are. So I think he actually, in his opening testimony, exonerated Trump somewhat. And he, uh, he, he made it problematic for himself because if he's known the president for so long and if he's known the president to always be a racist, but he still continued to work for him, uh, he's, he's very guilty by association in that regard. Uh, well done today. It, it certainly must have been entertaining. Did he have dead shark eyes? <laughs> he did have dead truck eyes, mm. uh, and the people behind him had those too. Mm. But I mean, it was just, it was fascinating today. Right. The oversight committee is a lot of theater, frankly. <laughs> That's all of Congress. You have a crazy job. I, I, Congressman I, I, Massey, uh, hey. we, we got a break and uh, yeah. find the president and Chairman Kim once again. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kennedy.